Weather in 2014 made a lot of headlines. I'm Stormship Meteorologist Jason Myers, and here are the top six. Number six, rain and lots of it. Heavy spring rains caused a landslide in Oso, Washington, killing more than 40 people. Later that spring, more than 20 inches of rain fell in two days in Florida's panhandle, breaking records in Alabama and Pensacola, Florida. Then over the summer, more than 13 and a half inches of rain fell in 24 hours in New York, breaking a state record. Number five, tornadoes or lack thereof. In the last 10 years, only 2013 had fewer tornadoes. More than 15% of the tornadoes this year spawned at the end of April in a major outbreak. At least 33 people died. The next and final time tornadoes would make major headlines came in June when people witnessed two simultaneous side-by-side EF4 tornadoes in Pilgrim, Nebraska. Number four, November's buff of snow. A week before Thanksgiving, cold air overtook the eastern two-thirds of the U.S. and created perfect conditions for lots and lots and lots of lake effect snow in Buffalo, New York. A number of people died of heart attacks while trying to dig out of their homes. Number three, hurricanes. Pacific making up for the Atlantic. Only one Atlantic hurricane made U.S. landfall this year. Category two, Hurricane Arthur came ashore in North Carolina on July 3rd, relatively early in the season, but after that, nothing else hit. In the Pacific, it was a different story. Hurricane Izell was the strongest storm to have a direct hit on the big island of Hawaii in its history, and remnants of Hurricane Norbert and Tropical Storm Odile brought flooding to the southwest U.S. in mid-September. Number two, drought out west. Hot, dry air persisted in Texas and California. In February, Texas reservoirs averaged 64% capacity, the lowest level for the date in 25 years. And California repeatedly broke heat records all year long as drought conditions just kept spreading to the entire state and getting worse. Things are especially bad in the Central Valley where more than 230 crops are grown. Number one, last winter's polar vortex. It may have been hot out west, but for the eastern two-thirds of the country, it was quite the opposite all the way through March. Atlanta shut down because of snow at the end of January. Most of the Midwest had top 10 coldest winters on record, so much so that in early March, 92% of the Great Lakes were frozen, the second most since scientists have been keeping track. So what do we miss? Let me know in the comments below, and as always, please like the video and subscribe to the channel.